Tammy Colors 2. I have kind of a mini mid-month haul that I had accumulated a few things and sometimes I get a big pile and I get tired of keeping it all in one place um, and it gets to be a lot. <laughs> Hopefully that'll change. But um, so I thought I would just do it now. I know I'll be getting a few bucks books at the end of the month, um, but we'll see. So um, I got a few supplies, so I'll start with them. Um, I got a new bag, so uh, I love these. These are one of my favorite bags. I can put the link in the description. They come in this little box. I'm gonna take it out in its canvas, if you've never seen these before. And they have, it has like two zippers and there's a separate zipper for the middle. Um, and then this one. And they hold quite a bit. I love to put my gel pens in them. I have two other ones already. So this is what they look like in action. I put my jelly rolls in here because I uh, go a lot of places. So I like to be able to grab my favorite things, you know. And uh, this was a color I didn't have. <laughs> So that is what I added. I really recommend these. They're like about $8 around there. Um, they're totally worth it because they're super um, well made. So totally recommend those. Um, get rid of my box because I don't need that anymore. Oh, um, I got a new set of cheap water brushes. We'll see if I like them. I haven't tried them yet. They screw on super tight. I know they're cheap. Um, but I like the fact that you could get three small tips <laughs> as opposed to the packs of six where two of the brushes are small enough for what you want to do with them and then the rest of them are all huge and useless. Um, I have a number of those. Not useless, but I just don't use them as much and that's my personal preference. So <laughs> I got a new, a, I got another set of Nuvo glitter markers because um, these are ridiculously expensive. <laughs> So um, I don't get them very often. I only have one other set. I have the, I can't remember what this one was called, but it's the purple, purple, green, and pink. Um, I don't remember if that's the mermaid set or what they call it. This is the tropical rainforest. And I started them and that's what the colors look like. Um, if you can see that on this set, they're awesome. I love Nouveau glitter markers. They are fabulous. Uh, what else did I get? That was like a, oh, um, I think last supply I got with these, and I did a swatching video of these, the Artex um, acrylic marker set. And I really like them. Um, there's 32 of them, you know, it comes with a card that shows you all the colors and they're like this they do have the number on them check out you should check out my swatching video if you want they have a brush tip and you know it looks a lot like a Tombow marker sort of <laughs> um, but I love them they're great they, there's a tray and the tray just pulls you can pull out the bottom tray also if you really want to but I don't find need to um so that's cool I swatched them so this is what all of the colors look like that's a white one so you know you can't really see it but aren't they pretty those are beautiful I have my windows open so if you hear things uh look how bright that yellow is so um one of the people who comments a lot Valerie B um said I wonder if you can do shading because these are really smooth they don't there's no texture like with regular acrylic markers um there I've never had personally me I've never had an acrylic marker like this it's definitely acrylic but it it acts more like a water marker or an aqua marker it's very bizarre I've never had anything like it so um she said I wonder if you could color with them and do shading with pencil. And so I picked a picture in my beginner's collection and I colored the whole thing with acrylic, different colors of acrylic marker. The base is, 
And then I did, I didn't, not, not everything is shaded. Like, you can tell that they're, some of the colors are opaque and some of them are not, which is nice because you can go over the lines and it doesn't really mess it up. You can redraw them. Um, obviously this color is very dark and more opaque, so, you know, it wouldn't necessarily work for that. Um, but like I shaded here, the whole thing isn't shaded. Um, I shaded this and I'm also not the best. This paper is probably not the best choice. I used um, the Brute Funer Square pencils on top of this, if um, just because they're nice to work with, but this paper is, is really not enjoyable for most pencils like that. Um, so it may have not have been the best choice, but yes, you can see you can shade because this is smooth. Um, you can shade it with pencil and it looks great. I shaded a little bit right there. Um, what else? I shaded this. I shaded these leaves right here. I shaded a little bit there. I'm not the best shader, but so that answers your question, Valerie, that you can shade on top of them with pencils. I got them, um, because I want to use them in some color by number books. Um, I don't know how long they would last, so we'll see. Um, I wish they had a few more colors. I'm interested if anybody uses acrylic markers on their like Disney books, because I know a few people do now. Um, which ones do you use? Because I guess I'm a little picky. I like to have the color that at least gets close to matching, and a lot of the acrylic markers don't have big enough sets to really, you know, get there so I'm curious as to what y'all do <laughs> all right so I have a few books that I picked up this month most of them I have flipped throughs of um I've been wanting one of these uh and it was on it, this one was like an Amazon return um so it's a color by pixel it is double-sided um, and they're just little puzzles, if you've never seen one before. I did not do a flip through of this one. Um, I don't know how long this one's been out. But they give you, in the solutions, they give you the actual picture and then what the picture should look like. And I was interested to see how these come out um, after they're colored. So I've never had one before. So that's the Brain Games Color by Pixel. Um, I did not have this, and it was also a return, so I got it a little bit cheaper. Um, Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls, Mermaids to Color, and more. So, it's, you know, this, this has been around for a while, and also so I can do Buddy Colors with Johanna. Um, <laughs> um. I did a flip through of this. It's the brand new Such and Such Diva Paper Cut Art Silhouettes Color by Number. And it is really cute, pretty, has lots of different pictures in it. So I'm anxious to color in here and see what that is like. I did pick up Circulism Art Book uh, Echidna. Finally, I love, love, love their books. I also picked up um, Kala, uh, which is full of fish. Nothing but fish. And it looks really cool. I just love the way these, the bright colors and the way they color up. Um, I did receive the new Mystery Colors magazine, Amazing Animals. Um, this one has got some really small spaces, but we'll see how it colors up because it may be... You know, the pictures in here are gorgeous. I mean, look at that. So, that'll be fun. I'm excited. I did a flip through of this one, Tiny Cats by Coco Wayo. It's a relatively new release of theirs. So check out my flip through if you're interested. These are just way too cute. Very, very cute. I'm, um, I will, I will make an admission. Um, I love cats, but I am not the biggest fan of all kawaii style cats. And the ones that I don't like, um, 
I don't see any in here, which is partly why I got this book. I don't, uh, sort of Puccini. I like the Puccini books, but it's the style of cat that looks like a sausage roll. I don't really like those. <laughs> I don't think they're cute. I think they're weird. Um, but that's me. Uh, I got Midnight Skies by Coco Wild, which is another new release. So this was fun. I did a flip through of this. If you are interested, uh, this looks like so much fun. So many interesting pictures in here. I did get Country Kitchen Charm by Teresa Goodrich, a Creative Haven book. I didn't do a flip through of this. There are a number of them out there, but if you want one... Um, let me know. Oh, Liz, I think it's Liz at home. Yeah, did a color along with this picture and it's really cool. I like it. Oh, I picked up Honeybee adult coloring book by Coloring Cafe that came out. I think it came out in January of this year. Hasn't been out for very long, which this is 2022. Um, a lot of beautiful bee pictures in here. It looked so fun to color, so. Okay, next. Uh, I got Hannah Lynn Early Works Grayscale, because I have discovered that I don't have nearly enough Hannah Lynn, and I really like coloring her pictures. So I got this one, uh, that is fabulous. I didn't do a flip through of that one, but if you're interested, let me know. I did do a flip through of this one, however, Stuffed Animals Coloring Book, which has been out for a while. I think I said it came out in 2016, 2017, no, later than that maybe. But I'd never seen it before. It's in the flip through video, I, I say what year it came out. Mm, I might say... Well, this one says 2021, but I missed it. But anyway, the point is I missed it and it's adorable. And the stuffed animals, it was on my list and I'm like, I just need the stuffed animals. They're so cute. There's a really cute game, if you've never heard of it, called Stuffed Fables, um, where you actually play stuffed animals. It's a, it's a story. The, um, side side note the the board is a um is a book and the playing board and you fold it out um and what it is is there's a little girl and there are bad things that live in the night um and you are the stuffed animals and you have to protect her and each scenario you know you're battling different things it's it's a whole story and you play through it you turn the page it's like it's kind of like a legacy type game not really legacy because you don't change the board or anything but you would you would not play it all in one one sitting we'll put it that way uh probably <laughs> a month's worth of sittings however many times you play um we haven't made it through the whole book but stuffed fables is really really cute by plaid hat games if you're ever interested anyway uh this one I got, I did a flip through, Daydreams by Gabby Wolf. This one's smaller. <laughs> this is adorable. It has a lot of different neat patterns in it. So check out my flip through if you want to see that one. Then I got a whole bunch of Matchstick Mouse books. I got the Matchstick Mouse Summer, which is his newest one. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to color in it. And right before that, we had the Chompy Fluff Monsters come out. So I had to get all three of those. Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. Which I um, did flip-throughs of all three of these, if you are interested. That's a pretty color scheme. Hmm. <laughs> I'm having thoughts. Okay, so I got those. Super cute. Definitely recommend them. And then I think the last one I added to my collection so far is Keyhole Worlds. 
which is just super cool. Beautiful images. I did a flip through of this one also, if you've never seen it. I have seen some really cool pictures come out of this. So I'm excited to do one in there though too. So I think that's it. That was all that I have added. Like I said, I know I will be adding some stuff at the end of the month um, when some new books come out. So, but I'm trying to add fewer and fewer books. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything and I will try to link all the videos that I can in the description that I talked about and channels and stuff if I mention any and thank you for watching uh I'm I hopefully you found it interesting and you know I love finding new things that make me happy and these all make me happy so I'm good and I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video bye